because in a way uh, the choices that these people make about the product are, are emotional or, or or is that just an excuse well it, it's emotional but it's also about investment so it, buying art supporting art is a speculative experience um, and, a, and a speculative process just like buying stocks or shares or property or you know there's there's an aspect of speculation of weighing up what the risks are what the what the possible return is and so on and so if we look at auction records for example um, you know only 10 percent of, of works going to auction are by women even though 70 percent of uh, people going to art school are women so that there is there is something that happens in that career trajectory where you where you look at the beginning of a career which is predominantly by female artists and then you look at the sort of the, the other end the auction records which you know you know typically are um you know uh, dead or near dead artists um and, and it's predominantly men so there's something that happens there along that route and you know and being a parent is a big part of that but you know there are also these other things but um you know i just sort of think that collectors and institutions they don't um you know they, they there is a risk there that, that they perceive, which I think is entirely um, unfounded, because I think actually, as we can see from Anya's film, she, you know, a lot of artists work incredibly hard, and yeah. and that, you know, it is not based in any reality. And in fact, if there were things in support of women, particularly around exactly. parenting, yeah, it's like a vicious circle. If we had more support. Uh, and not being written off from the art industry completely because you want to have a family, then you wouldn't give up. Like so many times I felt like I've had enough of this art world. I'll paint for myself. I'm not getting involved in it anymore. And this is why I can see so many women artists moving into, you know, to the countryside and having a family without having to fight mm. against this wall that doesn't break. Um, How have you been able to keep going, Anya? Because what Kate is describing and what you've described just seems insurmountable. It, it seems exhausting. It is exhausting, but it's a labor of love. On the other hand, it's something who you are and you cannot, how, no matter how much you try, and I do try to kind of stop this, uh, you cannot stop it because it's what you love doing and this is who you are, it's in your DNA and you keep on doing 